technology training events are designed to expedite the assessment and review of counter improvised explosive device technology for bomb technicians, both public safety and military. Um, so we partner with the United States Bomb Technician Association to bring in industry partners to uh, basically allow the bomb techs to receive a very hip pocket clasp on the different technologies that are emerging in this field. And then they're allowed to utilize those new technologies to perform normal tasks that a bomb technician might and give feedback to both the industry uh, as well as OBP uh, that ultimately will make the country safer, both saving lives and protection of critical infrastructure. Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines represented here. We have bomb technicians that have come from Los Angeles, New York, Florida, Washington State, all over. We assign them all to different teams. We put them into a scenario-based training lane, and then we give them different technologies to work with. We've contacted subject matter experts who know a lot about working in a nuclear power plant and how it would be assaulted. And if it was assaulted, what would be used? Every bomb tech in the country requires a certain number of hours of training. So what we do is we liven it up and we come to a great place like this and we try to make it as real to life as possible. It's a pretty tight community that, that we're a part of in the bomb community. We deal with a lot of things that people either don't know what to deal with, they don't have the uh, qualifications to deal with. The bomb world is, is very extensive when it comes to um, anything with explosives. All the technology, the vendors have been very interesting and um, they've definitely made it so that um, they're trying to make our job as easy as we can make it in the conditions we're at. I think it's a super important to have uh, that cohesion between you know federal, uh, military, and law enforcement all together as one with the same goals in mind, um, you know, keeping the public safe, keeping each other safe. Having WSP here is super important. Those EOD teams do really good work and we want to learn from them and we want them to learn from us as well.